We're going to first start talking about climate. And when we say climate, we mean that we're talking about the average weather condition in an area over a long period of time. This long period of time is usually a year. So they look at the weather of a certain place and kind of average it all together in a year. Climate is pretty consistent, whereas weather changes on a daily basis. Here's an example of a climate of an area. In looking at this chart, we see at the bottom or the x-axis are the months, January, February, all the way down through December. The red line is going to represent the temperature. The blue bars represent rainfall. And so these two things are what meteorologists look at when determining the climate of an area. They look at their average temperatures for the year, and as well as the amount of rainfall that they get in a, in a year. One of the things that affects the climate of an area is the area's latitude. And it's important that we know what that word means. Latitude is the distance north and south from the equator. And we measure it in degrees. Not degrees as temperature that we just learned in our last unit, but degrees in terms of an angle. So in this picture here, we see the equator is zero degrees. And then as you go up, it rises in increments of 15 degrees. After that, you have 30 degrees. So everything above the equator would be north latitude. Everything below the equator is south latitude. So now that we know what latitude is, let's see how it affects the climate of the area. So there's two places marked on this map. The place by the yellow arrow is somewhere right around the equator, which again is zero degrees. Now we know that the equator has a pretty hot climate. Year round it's hot. Now if we go up and look at somewhere by the red arrow that looks to be around Greenland, we can see that it is much farther away from the equator than the place at the yellow arrow. And this tells us that it's going to have a much colder climate. So the farther away you are from the equator, the colder your climate is going to be. So why is that so? Why do the different parts have different climates? Well, it all has to do with how they receive the sun's energy. Remember, our world is a globe. It's sphere-shaped. So when the sun hits it, it disperses the light differently. Right at the equator, it's more direct and more concentrated. But as you go farther away from the equator, north and south, that light tends to spread out more. Here's a better picture to show that. We see the sun on the right and the earth on the left. The sun, of course, gives out light and heat, and the earth, of course, receives that. I want you to put on your notes, I want you to put an X next to which part of the earth receives that heat energy more directly. The place that receives it more indirectly or more spread out, I want you to put a Y on that place. And on the next slide, you're going to watch a video that will help explain the X and the Y. 